Social workers make decisions every day that have huge implications for children and families. They have to make decisions in difficult, complicated circumstances. They also have to be able to explain these decisions to families, managers and in court. In 2014, CES began working with TUSLA on the Empowering Practitioners and Practice Initiative, also known as EPI. This work aimed to improve use of evidence and support consistency in social work across the country. By evidence, we mean practice wisdom, formal research and learning from best practice. We wanted to increase the confidence of social workers in using evidence to make decisions. We also wanted to provide social workers with easier access to evidence that can be applied to their casework. So what did we do? First, we looked at the needs of social workers. We asked social workers how they used evidence, what kinds of frameworks and tools they used, what challenges they faced, and what did they need help with. This highlighted many examples of good practice, but also areas that needed improvement. It showed the various different approaches used by social workers around the country. We used these findings to start conversations with social workers around the country about their practice. They told us that they wanted help in using and applying research evidence and easier access to relevant evidence. Next we focused on building capacity and confidence. We developed the Evidence Informed Practitioner Programme and delivered it to 138 social workers. This practical programme focuses on using and applying research evidence in social work. Participants apply learning to their own real-life cases by identifying outcomes for children and families and using research to help work towards them. Two conferences have now showcased and celebrated this work, with management and social workers reporting greater skills and confidence in using evidence to inform case planning and court reports. Finally, we wanted to provide easy access to evidence. Based on our conversations with social workers and working with a project team including TUSLA staff and managers, we produced an online toolkit, a one-stop shop of up-to-date and evidence-informed tools and resources for social workers. We looked at important challenges in social work and identified nine priority areas for the toolkit. These covered a range of topics from the impact of abuse and domestic sexual and gender-based violence, to child development, to practical skills for engaging with children and families. We designed a simple format for the toolkit that was easy to navigate and the agency seconded a social worker to help us tailor the content. After piloting and testing toolkit areas, we worked with TUSLA to share the toolkit on their own intranet where all social workers will be able to find and use it effectively. So what next? The next phase of EPI involves sharing the toolkit across the agency and making sure it is being used by social workers. An implementation team is in place to help the agency to integrate the toolkit. In particular, it will support the new child protection and welfare strategy, the signs of safety. An evaluation of the project is underway and will help to guide the development of the program as it continues to improve the skills of social workers. Initial reports are very encouraging, with social workers feeling more confident and empowered in their assessments, case reports and court reports. <laughs>